from our studios in the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California. This is a CUBE Conversation. Hi, and welcome to the CUBE Studios for another CUBE Conversation, where we go in depth with thought leaders driving innovation across the tech industry. I'm your host, Peter Burris. The notion of data services has been around for a long time, but it's being upended, recast, reformed as a consequence of what cloud can do. But that also means that cloud is creating new ways of thinking about data services, new opportunities to introduce and drive this powerful approach of thinking about digital businesses, centralized assets. And to have that conversation about what that means We've got Chad Kenny, who's the VP and Chief Technologist of Clumio with us today. Chad, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, so let's start with that notion of data services and the role the cloud's going to play. Clumio has looked at this problem or looked at this challenge from the ground up. What does that mean? So if you look at the, the cloud as a whole, customers have gone through a, a significant journey. We've seen you know, the, the first shadow IT kind of play out where people decided to go to the cloud, IT was too slow. It moved into kind of a cloud first movement where people realized the power of cloud services. That then got them to understand a little bit of interesting things that played out. One, moving applications as they exist were not very efficient, and so they needed to re-architect certain applications. Second, SaaS was a core way of getting to the cloud in a very simplistic fashion uh, without having to do much whatsoever. And so for applications that were not core competencies, they realized they should go SaaS, and for anything that was a core competency, they needed to really re-architect to be able to take advantage of those uh, you know, very powerful cloud services. And so when you look at it, if people were to develop applications today, cloud is the default that you go towards. And so for us, we had the luxury of building from the cloud up on these very powerful cloud services to enable a much more simple model for our customers to consume, but even more so to be able to actually leverage the agility and elasticity of the cloud. Think about this for a quick second. We can take facilities, break them up, expand them across many different compute resources within the cloud, versus having to take kind of what you did on-prem in a single server or multitudes of servers and try to plant that in the cloud. From a customer's experience perspective, it's vastly different. You get a world where you don't think about how you manage the infrastructure, how you manage the service, you just consume it. And the value that customers get out of that is not only getting their data there, which is the on-ramp around our data protection mechanisms, but also being able to leverage cloud native services on top of that data in the longer term as we have this one common global index and platform. And what we're super excited today to announce is that we're adding in AWS native capabilities to be able to protect that data in the public cloud. And this is kind of the default place where most people go to from a cloud perspective to really get their applications up and running and take advantage of a lot of those cloud native services. Well, if you're going to be cloud native and promise to customers that you're going to support their workloads, you got to be obviously on AWS. Yeah. So congratulations on that. But let's go back to this notion of, you use the word powerful. Mm -hmm. AWS is a mature platform. Uh, GCP is coming along very rapidly. Azure is you know, also yep. very, very good. And there are others as well. But sometimes enterprises discover that they have to make some trade-offs. To get the simplicity, they have to get less function. To get the reliability, they have to get rid of simplicity. How does Clumio think through those trade-offs to deliver that simple, that powerful, that reliable platform for something as important as data protection and data services in general? So we wanted to create an experience that was single click, discover everything, and be able to help people consume that service quickly. And if you look at the problem that people are dealing with, uh, and customers talk to us about this all the time, is the power of the cloud resulted in hundreds if not thousands of accounts within AWS. And now you get into a world where you're having to try to figure out how do I manage all of these for one, discover all of it, and consistently make sure that my data, which as you've mentioned, is incredibly important to businesses today, is protected. And so having that one common view is incredibly important to start with. And the simplicity of that is immensely powerful. When you look at what we do as a business to make sure that that continues to occur is, first we leverage cloud native services on the back, which are complex and, and, and you know, getting those things to run and orchestrate uh, are things that we build on the back end. On the front end, we take the customer's view and looking at what is the most simple way of getting this experience to occur 
uh, for both discovery as well as uh, you know, backup, recovery, and even being able to search in a global fashion. And so really taking their seat to figure out what would be the easiest way to both consume the service and then also be able to get value from it um, by running that service. AWS has been around, as well, AWS in many respects founded the cloud industry. It's, uh, it's you know, certainly Salesforce and the SaaS side, but AWS was the first company to make the promise that it was going to provide this very flexible, very powerful, very uh, agile, uh, infrastructure as a service, and they've done an absolutely marvelous job about it. And they've also advanced the state of the art of the technology mm -hmm. dramatically, and in many respects are in the driver's seat. What trade-offs, what limits does your new platform face as it goes to AWS, or is it the same Clumio experience adding now all of the capabilities of AWS? It's a great question, because I think a lot of uh, solutions out there today are different parts and pieces kind of clumped together. What we built is a platform that these new services just get instantly added. Next time you log into that service, you'll see that, that available to you. Um, and you can just go ahead and log in to your accounts and be able to discover directly. And I think that the, val the power of SaaS is really that. Not only have we made it immensely secure, which is something that people think about quite a bit, with having you know, not only data in flight, but data at rest encryption, uh, and, and leveraging really the cloud capabilities of security. Um, but we've made it incredibly simple for them to be able to consume that uh, easily. Uh, literally not lift a finger to get anything done. It's available for you when you log into that system. And so having more and more data sources in one single pane of glass and being able to see all the accounts, especially in AWS where you have quite a few of those accounts, and to be able to apply policies in a consistent fashion to ensure that you're you know, compliant within the environment for whatever business requirements that you have around data protection is immensely powerful to our customers. Chad Kenny, Chief Technologist, Clumio, thanks very much for being on theCUBE. Thank you. And thanks for joining us for another CUBE Conversation. I'm Peter Burris, see you next time.